You know, this next quickie was supposed to be an easy and simple task to do. And it should have been. But it turns out I was wrong. So now I despise the game Flicky on the Sega Genesis, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm not even sure if I should even read what little plot this game has. Rescue the birds, ooh! But I'll humor you. When babies wander off, and by that they mean floating in midair in no real danger, there is only one thing to do. Turn off this game and play something better. Lead them back to the safety of their nest, which happens to look like an elevator because we're in some sort of hotel it seems. Flicky the mother blue jay has just such a task. The worst task that turned into a video game. It won't be easy to get the baby chicks back, though. <laughs> oh, game! Oh, you so funny, you son of a bitch! Hungry cats are on the prowl, and many surprising hazards waiting to be found. And the many surprising hazards is... Just a lizard. No, that's it, really. Puzzle your way through level after level of cat fighting fun in this family favorite. Family favorite? If you actually liked this game, I think you're really weird. Or really old. Flicky is a platformer arcade game by Sega that got ported to other systems before being ported to the Sega Genesis, which is the version we're going to be looking at. In this game, you go through 48 levels rescuing chicks, or the way I see it, finding chicks and not the ones we'd like to find, to escort them to their nest, which like I said looks like an elevator door, while avoiding the many hazards of two enemies fucking cats and this bastard lizard you meet later on. Now, being an arcade game, the gameplay and the goal is very simplistic, and much like other arcade games in the 80s like Pac-Man and Space Invaders, the game just repeats over and over again with variations on the levels and eventually looping. Though, this game does remind me of Bubble Bobble, but nowhere near as fun or good. Now, of course, it occasionally breaks up the regular gameplay with bonus stages where you have to catch the dumb birdies for walking straight into a trap for extra points which will actually give you a 1-up if you collect enough. And you'll probably want them, because this game, while it technically isn't that bad or as bad as I'd like to think it is, it can be an oh-so-bullshit game. Controlling Flicky is a pain in the ass, you see. She's really, and I mean really, floaty, which makes the platforming trickier than it should be. She bounces off walls, which just aggravates the potatoes out of me, because most of the time something goes wrong and I die. But it can be helpful for speedrunning if you plan your route for the stages. Also, the game makes facing the other way quickly more complicated than it should be. Flicky doesn't turn and face the other direction immediately like in um, good games like Mario. No, you gotta give it a few seconds to turn around, kind of like how Echo turns around in his own dumb game. Why did I mention it? Well, the only way to defend yourself against the cats is to pick up objects off the ground and throw it at them. And when there's one right on my tail and I want to turn around and throw stuff at them, I would like to, you know, turn around and throw that stuff at them before I get killed. Uh, this game is bold! Speaking of speedrunning, does the name Flicky ring a bell, or does she look familiar to you? If you said the Sonic series, you'd be correct as Flicky has made appearances in several Sonic games and a few Sega games. It's even more obvious in Sonic 3D Blast, or specifically Sonic 3D Flicky's Island, a game where Sonic has to save birds much like in Flicky's game. Ironically, not many people like Sonic 3D Blast, and now we can further see why because they based the gameplay on Flicky's arcade game, which I didn't like, unlike Sonic 3D Blast, which I liked better. I mean, this game isn't bad, but it's just repetitive, and yes, the levels are different each time, which I can't deny the game trying to change things up each round, but it's just not fun. It's especially not fun when you have a line of chicks ready to be sent out of the level, only for the fucking cats to break the line and you have to go collect the chicks again. Only, they're really stupid and annoying to catch because they run around, and if it's the dumb chicks with the shades, they walk off the platforms and you gotta dive after them, while watching out for the dumb cats that will continuously come back even if you knock them out. Urgh, honestly, how many fucking chicks does birdie motherfucker have? I think the moral of this game to kids is to always use a condom, or else, You'll be just like Flicky who has to run around saving their bastard children who will get you killed. After a while of playing the same thing over and over again, I just stopped caring and I just wanted to turn off this game. 
I didn't beat all 48 levels and so forth, and I don't care enough to do it. Even though there is a level select code, but it only brings you up to stage 36. Not even the half-naked bikini lady makes this worth playing through. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a half-naked bikini lady that appears in a bottom window if you beat the first 10 rounds under 20 seconds and get over 240,000 points, which I did manage to do, but guess what? The game flipped the bird at me and I was like, Fuck you, Wizwar, you didn't play my game hard enough to see a half-naked bikini lady, so kiss my ass! And at that point I was like, that fucking does it. I don't want to play this shit anymore. Fuck you, game. And just to show you what it looks like, here it is. Oh yeah, that was so fucking worth it. Yeah, it's not worth the trouble at all. And on the subject of looks, this game looks okay. It looks exactly like what an arcade game in the 80s would be, especially with having the background loop around. But the changes in look and design after a few levels are a nice thought. Oh, on that note, check out this background level. <laughs> Why would you make such an epileptic level like that? Do I recommend Flicky for the Genesis? No! Not recommended. Flicky is a game that, to me, is in the same pool as Pac-Man or Space Invaders. You play one round and that's it, you never play the rest of it because it's just going to be the same general thing. Flicky is an okay game as much as I hate it, but I just feel that it's not worth getting, especially compared to other Genesis games that are much better and play much better. Like Sonic 3D Blast, which plays like Flicky, but at least it was more fun. But anyways, this is WizWare 100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer, so stay tuned for more from LazyWorks Creation. See ya! but kind of worked out oh yeah and the music is loud and it sucks and if you said this game was easy fuck you it's bullshit